Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette National. And I'm with Mike. Mike, what's your last name? Uh, K-Roos. Mike, what year, make, and model is this one? It's a 1965 Plymouth Belvedere 1. Uh, it was made by the factory for drag racing. It's a, they called it the A990 cars. The A990. There weren't many of these. A hundred. A hundred. So here's one of the real hundred cars. And this one, well, is the California Flash. So let me just show you what that looks like from the front end. Now, how long have you had this one, Mike? 26 years. 26 years. One of the defining pieces clearly is that hood because that was an A990 hood. And let's show the side of this car. Come on with me. We'll step back and get a shot. I'll step back just a bit more so I can get that angle right there. Let me see if I can even get that angle to give you more of what that rake looks like. Now, did they make an actual model? Did Ravel make a model of the California Flash? Yes, they did. <laughs> That's pretty cool that you get to drive, well, the real car. I drive the real car. You drive the real one. Butch Leal was, uh, we'll call him the famous drag racer, but you drive drag race this one too for a couple of years. Um, I raced it to about five years ago and then we quit. And, and, and now you have hearing problems. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll see why I said that because when this one fires well, you won't miss it. Um, how long did it take to get all of the stickers and details back to this car to, I'll call it, what it originally used to look like back in the day? Two years. Two year restoration. Can we open the uh, trunk area? Uh, there's your shutoff switch, as you can see, and the Plymouth script across the back. So as we open this, you'll see that back, the battery would be back here, and this bars are from the roll cage all the way back. What was it like drag racing this? I mean, <clears throat> it was the most fun car I've ever had. This is it. Was, it. it was just a fun car to drive. <laughs> Bush did a real good job building this car. This is a good one for sure. Let's uh, take a look at the interior. May I? Sure. Thank you. Now tell me, first of all, tell me about these windows. Uh, these aren't the windows are were they glass or? Uh, they're glass, but Dow Carning made all the glass. Their name is on the windows. Okay. I can see that, okay. All right. And they're, they're, they're real thin. Okay. And, and what else with an A990 car do we know that besides the hood scoop, the thin windows? The fenders and the doors and the bumper were all lightweight. All lightweight. From the factory. From the factory. All right, so yeah. let's open this. Mike, I'm having you open everything just so I don't ding it. Oh, well. <laughs> Now, tell me about these seats, because these seats are correct, and you can see that they are not, they don't move up and down. That's it. That's your spot. Were these van seats? They were Dodge 100 van seats. Oh, my goodness. Obviously, no back seat. Yeah. You put that there for your helmet. This... Let me just show people. Wow. Wow. Tell me about this shifting mechanism. How does that operate? The, what, the, how, how does the shifter work uh, here? It, the, the reverse gear shift is, is uh, by itself. The black the, one? Yeah, that's the black one. And then it just separates it when you're shifting so it's not all the levers, not all hooked up together. So her shifter. Yeah. What's the red button for? Uh, for line lock. Line lock. Got it. Set the line lock. Rev it up. Take off. Take off. Take off. And this one lifts the wheels off the off the off the ground. <laughs> yeah, Bush told me one time I asked him how to how to drive it with a stick in. He said, shove it on the floor and let the clutch out. Is that right? <laughs> shove it on the floor, let the clutch out. All right, I'm going to let you open up the uh, hood. 
I'm just going to show. What do, what do we have here? Is this a tack? Fuel pressure gauge. Pressure gauge. And then here's your tack up here. Okay. Wow. Holy cow. It's a 426 cubic inch Hemi motor. Now that's not the factory engine actually, but that's what the, that, that's what it looked like when it came from the factory, just like that. So this is all put back together to look yeah. like what it would have yeah. looked like in the factory. <clears throat> and they reversed the shock tires on them so you can get the valve covers off of them easy. Just on the Hemi cars. Just on these. And now, was this bracing like that from the factory? This? Yeah. N no. <clears throat> okay. No, they had motor mounts and they kept breaking the motor mounts. So they put these on. Put this on. Yeah. What is this car's horsepower? Um, Let's see. That, motor had, <clears throat> that engineer had 675. 675 yeah. horsepower. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a break and I'm going to show you what this car sounds like as we drove it in. some holes in the hood so that you can get those stacks in. Go ahead, you're going to share something with me. Oh, I will say the, uh, the carburetor matched the holes for the air. Perfect match for Fresh air. So fresh air comes right in. Well, Mike, what a uh, amazing car for sure. Uh, tell me, uh, give me one good uh, drag race story you've got for me on this car. Well, <laughs> A guy and I hadn't raced for 40 years, and we kind of we were in a staging lane, and we just come together, and we got to race after 40 years. Is that right? And I beat him. <laughs> How good did that feel? It really felt good. We had a good, and we're still good friends. <laughs> still good friends. Well, the California Flash. What an impressive car. What an amazing piece of history. And really, only at the Muscle Car and Corvette National do you get the chance to see something like this. That, uh, and thanks for taking it out. Thanks for bringing it with us. It's really been a treat. Okay. Thank you for showing the car. Thank you.